Here's a video of a Democrat who went to a Trump rally and tried to understand MAGA lovers. So this should be good. Uh, let's see if these Democrat, I mean, if these MAGA lovers do anything that we've seen or anything reminiscent of when liberals have something um, to say opposite of what you believe when it comes to this politics stuff. Because it's a, from what I've seen, it's a completely different energy, and it's like. <laughs> Very negative. <laughs> All right, let's go. It was taken away from us, but we should have. We did great in New Hampshire. We should have won New Hampshire, but that's okay. President Donald Trump threw himself another rally on Thursday night in a state he nearly clinched in 2016. According to him, his Manchester, New Hampshire event even broke the venue's attendance record set by Sir Elton John. Stuff like that pissed liberals off when Trump would start talking about his records, record numbers at the and, and you notice the verbiage um, he threw himself a rally. It wasn't for his people. It was for himself. He threw himself a party. <laughs> this is Lucas Meyer, the 29 year old president of the New Hampshire Young Democrats, who was working to stop Trump from flipping the state. We invited him to the rally. Why did you agree to do this rally today? I agreed to do it today because, one, I think it's instructive to experience that. I mean, this is a really unique time in our country's history. Maybe I'll learn something new. Like I don't, I don't count on it. And part of it is I want to see it to like motivate myself for the next year and a half. Did he say instructive, constructive? destructive what did he say i think it's one i think it's instructive instructive okay okay and part of it is i want to see it to like motivate myself for the next year and a half to see what sort of like rhetoric what we're up against it's always good whenever you're organizing to like to get remind yourself like why you're doing this and like what drives you to do it and sometimes like confronting that hate is like the only way to do it yeah, this is not what Manchester looks like on a uh, average Thursday afternoon. This feels like a carnival. Meyer has gone to one other of these events, but that was as a protester. This time, he wanted to try and understand why people support this president at all. We have Lucas here, who's a Democrat. Respected. How would you convince someone like Lucas to vote for the president in 2020? What do you think he's doing right? So my first question is, do you love America? Yes. OK, because that's a huge problem on the left right now is that they don't love America. They hate Trump more than they love America. So I love my country more than just about anything in the world. And I would say that if you love our country, vote for Trump because he's doing everything he can to protect our nation. Can we like unpack that like love for America? I was about to ask the same question. I want to hear more about that because uh, <laughs> I'll give you all my thoughts in a minute. Uh, okay, I usually run my mouth and ruin the video, and I apologize for that because I, when I have an opinion, okay, I'm doing it again. Okay, she kind of, she kind of cutie pie too. Looking at her, she a cutie pie. And he can't to protect our nation. Can we like unpack that like love for America and like what, like what does that mean to you and what, what about what the president has done like it. makes you think that he loves America? He loves America because of his foreign policy, how he's treating, he's being hard on our borders, he's being hard on other countries that aren't just, or that are disrespecting us and have been for decades, and that's why I love him. I want everybody to be here. I want everybody to love our country as much as I do. And basically what she's saying too is um, he stepped in like a bulldog. He stepped in like a bulldog and said, um, if you don't, F with our country. That means if you don't like us, if you don't care for us, if you're not really well, uh, willing to do some real fair business with us, then F you. And however you want to do this, you want to get down, let's get down. That's See, that right there, that right there tells me why black people are sneaking to support Trump because that's that type of mentality that we was taught in the hood. Like, if it's F me, then it's F you. You want to go, let's go. It's like, and that's the type of attitude that he posed to other countries. He was like, man, look, I can care less about y'all. We gonna do business or we not. 
we going to fight or we not. That's what we going to do. We looking out for this country first. And a lot of people is like, man, he's been disrespectful. He's been mean. He's going to start a war. We don't like him. He's only doing this for the white people. Let's say that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. He's only doing it for the super white people, not the regular whites, but the super whites. I think Donald Trump has fundamentally changed our country in a number of ways. And I guess a question to you, you for think the better or for the worse? For the, for the worse. For the um, better. Has he done anything good? He has energized a lot of my friends to get off their ass and do something. So that's good. He didn't find much common ground, not even with someone who once voted blue. I am a registered Democrat. And I... Is that a surprise? I'm not in New Hampshire. Um, I've been watching since 2016. I've been watching because I was a Bernie girl. He had something really special. And I, I followed that whole process and I watched what the Democratic Party did to him, what the Democratic National Committee did to him, and I was disgusted. And I will never vote for another Democrat so long as the party continues down that path. What did the Democrat National Committee do to, to do to Trump? If y'all can help me with that, that would be amazing. Y'all know I want all the, I want all the, listen, what am I sipping on? I got my vanilla chai or how you say it? Vanilla chai, vanilla chai tea. Um, I want all the tea. Huh? Huh? Who? Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's still warm. Mm, that's a good cup. Yeah, that's a good cup. But yeah, if y'all can let me know that, that would be amazing. Does she have a point? Uh, about 2016 and how Bernie was treated by the party? Here in New Hampshire, I mean, I, we're in a state where Bernie won handedly, right? right? So I, I personally- Oh yeah, Bernie, yeah, the Democrats was horrible to Bernie. <laughs> That's why, because they wanted Hillary to win. They really, 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 really wanted Hillary to be the, be the person to run against Trump because they didn't care about, they was like, look, shut up, just be quiet. Be, look, look, old man, go in the corner somewhere. Stop promising free college to these young people who support you. Go somewhere, just go in the corner. We have someone that we want to run against Trump that we believe will win based off of their, their track record and how big their name is. Your name is not that big. We need somebody who can beat Trump, all right? So... Go sit down somewhere, old man. Go. Skedaddle. <laughs> yeah, they was mean as Hillary Bernie. I personally do not see that there were institutional hurdles thrown in his campaign. I think Hillary Clinton pretty fairly won that race. Are you, um, are you of the, of the uh, opinion that she won the popular vote? I am. I think, I think that's a fact. I don't think that's an opinion. I think that's a fact that she won the No, you disagree? She didn't I, I disagree, but OK. When the time came, thousands of super fans stood outside the venue to catch a glimpse of 45 on the Jumbotron. Your devotion and your drive, we are going to keep on working, we are going to keep on fighting, and we are going to keep on winning, winning, winning. That was one of his longest speeches that I've ever heard. How are you feeling now? Awful. Terrible. Do you think he's an effective messenger yeah. for his campaign? Yeah. It's easy to message when you lie. He is very savvy about how to lay out his argument in that anything he says that will be fact-checked and be proven to be totally bull Hold on, young man. Hold on. This, this is my thing, youngin. This is my thing. Okay. Everybody loved him as president. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, one, more, one more thing. They say that a lot of things that he promised, he actually did. And a lot of the presidents that you voted for, they didn't come through with their harnesses. So that's something to consider. That's always something to consider. Just saying. Right after, but the fake news will tell you otherwise. That feels like fascism to me. That feels really dangerous to me. And we saw it in those what seemed like very civil conversations, but we were talking right past each other, right? Because they were operating under a whole different other set of facts than what I was operating under. Did you learn anything at all from speaking with the Trump supporters before the rally? I learned that we have to work our asses off if we're going to beat them. Because, because the level of I don't know what the word is. I don't, I, I, the only thing that comes to mind is indoctrination. 
they're going to be people who are really, really bought in and have no connection to what's actually happening in the world, in my opinion. And to overcome that, it's going to take a lot of work. Let me tell you something that just now happened. When the young man was just now talking, and bless him for um, for being, he, he seemed like a nice guy. He just seemed um, very stuck on his position, and he didn't want to, he wouldn't, he's unmovable. But when he said, I just saw lies, he wasn't specific about a damn thing. I wanted him to be specific, because that right there gives me more information. Um, shout out to Vice um, channel as well for this video. Um, but he wasn't specific at all. That would be extremely helpful just in the future, young man, or anyone out there who's considering doing like a vlog style, informative type of video. Instead of going in there trying to prove a point, go in there to really learn. This is your time. You're, this is your time. You're spending your money that you're spending. Like you had to visit that place. You had to stay up in a hotel and, and haul all your stuff there. Take this moment seriously. That's what you can do rather than just trying to find every single thing that's wrong now if you're going to find everything that's wrong jot them bad boys down and say okay this is why they said this this is why it's wrong you said this this is why it's wrong rather than saying i feel i feel i feel i feel i feel like it's fascism i feel like anyone who believes him are going down the wrong path i feel i feel what the what does feel that how to do anything oh and then he said fake news and all this other stuff come on now that didn't tell me anything that just told me that you went there with an agenda you was far more upset at the end because you realized oh, we really got a fight on our hands nobody comes away nobody walks away from anything feeling like they got a fight on their hands unless they can see the potential in the person that they went to check out for instance, if you're training Floyd Mayweather and or if you're one of the people who spar with him and you say, today, guys, what we going to do? We're going to go check out his competitor, the one he's supposed to be fighting in two months. If you go check him out and you see that he's actually as weak as you thought he was, he's um, smaller than you thought he was, he's slower, he's not nearly as fast as your guy or any of that, and he seems to be a little more kooky in the mind he's not as sharp as your guy you're not gonna walk away and say man we really got a fight on our hands this is scary you're gonna have to train more you're gonna have to train more floyd come on champ you're gonna have to do more no no you only do that when you see that somebody is sharper than you thought they was somebody has more more depth and more power than you thought they had they have the support that you didn't think that they had they have a message that's clear enough to really drive people, that's when you walk away and say, ah, ah, shit, we might have messed up. We might have messed up. That's just me. I want to hear what y'all guys say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out to do it. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing, per usual, man. Love y'all.